Welcome to part two of this Tuesday recording. We don't know when we're gonna play this. Probably we'll play it on Wednesday because this is a massive, massive conversation. We are very biased. We 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 are in South Africa and we are supporting Mamelo de San now because they are representing the Southern Africa. So in our conversation, don't feel bad because we will be for Mamelo de San down. It is like the rugby world cup. People are crying about the referee in South Africa. We are happy. Very happy. <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> you in the stadium. I did not go to the stadium. You in the stadium. You are with the Caballero. And uh, you were there for both. You were there as African football lover mm -hmm. and support of Mamelo de Sandan. How was the atmosphere having Al Ali once again? Look, the, there's a strong rivalry building between Al Ahly and. No, not because no. it is now. It's, it's, it's bigger. Yeah. Because I think when they see the name it, Saitan. It is bigger than Zamalek now. No. No, it is. No, Chris, I uh, didn't hear you right. So the rivalry between Saitan. The Sandan... rivalry between Mamelodi Sundown and El Ali. By the way, today, Tuesday at 1 30, I will be, on, be in talking about that game with the Egyptian journalist. The rivalry between Mamelo de Sanda wow. and El Ali, it is now bigger than El Ali and Zamalek. For a simple reason, they are still looking for that six nail. They still have to beat Mamelo de Sanda six nail. They have to. No, no. You know you have to. You know I'd like to uh, to be a millionaire. <laughs> you know there are certain things that you you want to have, but reality is something else. Yeah. Because when you look at it, I mean, on on Sunday, here's the first disappointment I had. Mm. I looked at the weather god and I said, why is there rain? You wanted to be a star. No, there's a reason <laughs> for you to win anything. And I, and I said this uh, to uh, talking to some friends about football. Yeah. If you're going to win the Champions League, if you're going to win the AFL, if you're going to win anything on the continent that has got to do with sundowns in it, you need to come to Pretoria 3 p.m. when the sun is hot. If you survive that test, my friend... My day was so hot. It, it was last week, lost the whole last week. It was so hot. Until we got to Saturday. Wake up in the morning, a bit of sun, and then, and then, and then rain. And I'm like... So did you? So the question was, how did you feel to once again receive Al Ali? And 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 I, and I think it's one thing that you've got to be able to do. I always say, don't take these moments for granted, yeah. because it's not a given that you'll yeah. always play Al Ali or you'll be in a position to be playing Al Ali. Yeah. So you take it with the respect and you will give uh, the occasion, the respect that it deserves and the honor that it deserves. But once the kickoff starts. You then forget about no, every we, other. We won't get where the kickoff starts. I still have a problem, and you said it before. We are not yet a football nation, and we have once again proved it that we are not a football nation. You have an Ali coming in South Africa to play. Mm -hmm. You don't have to support Mamelodi mm -hmm. Sundown. Go and support El Ali, but mm -hmm. give football what it deserves—the atmosphere. Look, I, I and and for me. Two, two, two events that proved that as South Africans, we're still lagging behind in support. I laughed yesterday when there were people that I know are football fanatics. They were going, Banyana Banyana is playing. And I'm like, you didn't know? That is a funny <laughs> thing. You say, I mean, how do you not know? Because that's the one national team that we all support and look forward to because they've got a winning track record and they've done well. not to look at me. Look at the camera and tell them. Tell them something. As South Africans, it doesn't help to talk about football on spaces. It doesn't help to talk about football on X. It doesn't help to talk about football on radio. It helps to go to the stadium and be able to support our teams and show that we love them and show that we are here for you to be able to support you. Let's go back to the stadiums. Let's support our teams. Do you know many people bought tickets to go to Rugby World Cup? Who? So I, I, I was shocked because you, I happened to be at the airport. I, you know, I thought. Sia said, Sia said, we felt you. All those 1.1.1 1 .1 point, mm. it was not mm. that Springbok, they were better or good. No, they felt us supporting. That's what football is. That's what sport is. I, I, El Ali is playing in South Africa. 
and yet you're a say empty venue. Look, uh, and, and for me, those are some of the things you look at. It rains and suddenly you can't go to the stadium. No. You, you, you've got to be able to say, I support this team, come rain, team. come. So, and what you've got to do, you've got to give Sundowns credit for what they've done. They've did so, ma so many initiatives where they were helping supporters to be able to get there, helping supporters to get there by passing the mini. You've got to give them credit for that. We've got to be able to rise to the occasion as supporters. You know, I am looking at here. I received four phone, phone calls, two from Egypt, one from France. By the way, African Football League is being beat everywhere. <laughs> yeah. it, it is amazing. And it just happened. It is the best African football. When you club football, it, mm. the quality of, of the game. But uh, anyway, support it. It's beautiful. Going to this, the venue. Going is now we are in the game. The game start. Did you see the players before the game? Did you? See, yes. You spoke. You saw the no, 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 not spoke to them, but saw them because so yeah, because what, what what you want to be able to do is allow them to be in that zone where they're getting ready for the game. They are ready, and you can tell that. I mean, from the hotel when you look at the Sundowns players, they just look like very focused a uh, bunch of uh, players. You look at uh, the coaching staff led by Rulani Mukwena very focused in what they're doing, very meticulous in their preparation. Because then you're starting to get into a routine of what you are meant to do. And one thing that I'd always say, don't be an interrupter of that routine. Enjoy it from far and let yeah, it... Because you played football, so you don't go to me with get selfie. You don't <laughs> just get selfie. You played football, so your respect of a, an athlete is different compared to yes, normal fan. Yeah. Did you feel the sense of belief from the supporters that Sunland will do it. Oh yeah, I mean, and 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 we're, and while we may be able to wish that more supporters would come, you've got to give credit to those supporters that were there. When it was raining, Cabo Yellow people did not run into the stands. They sang in the rain. I mean, you've got people that now have a pitch with that rain. It was beautiful. Oh, the, what what kind of work did they, they did? Oh, and, and, and you, you've got to give Loftus, the, the management at Loftus, the pitch looks awesome, it's magnificent, it's smooth when you play, and it suits the type of football that Sundowns play. Vets Field, remember what you used to play there? <laughs> no, Vets Field was once the, you know, it's it, it immaculate. You, just by looking at it, it reminded me of that time. And, 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 and that's what you need when you have a team like Sundowns that play a very specific brand of football. Keep the ball on the ground, you want to be able to know if I pass the ball on the ground, it's going to be able to get there. And from an AFL perspective, when you arrive at the stadium, the branding says you are at AFL. No, it is when you get there, there's branding, there's all these things, and it just runs so crisp and runs so well. And it's got to, we've got to be able to say credits to the CAF, uh, ex-core to the yeah. hierarchy at CAF, because one, being able to put up an event, and not just put up an event, but put a professional, professional event. event. <laughs> but also the broadcast to beam it everywhere where they have we done. Need, we need CAF Champions League to be in this level because it is it is well done. The game start and this when the starting eleven came out, mm -hmm. which was one hour before, mm -hmm. I was asking myself why Serena is starting. And when I look at the start in the game itself, he did not have a good game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not expecting him to be in the starting eleven, mm -hmm. but he started the game. Something is going on with Zwan, and you will explain to us. Something is going on with Zwan. Zwan is not where you expect him to be, mm -hmm. to lead where he's supposed to be lead. The best player in the attack, it was Maseko. Maseko was great, going in the left-hand side. He hold the ball, he was passing the ball. And one thing that people don't understand about this Mamelodi Sundown, and under correction, how they get the ball back once they lost it. <laughs> they, fight, they fight very hard. It's almost like they remind me of a Barcelona, a Barcelona of Guardiola. Yes, people because think if they are good in school. No, it is how they and, get the ball. Back. And yes, when you are fighting that hard, you will be conceding a lot of fouls. Let's because then people look at the fouls and forget this is what you do. You've got the ball, you've lost the ball. You've got five seconds, in that five seconds you're pressing, meaning the opposition doesn't have time to sit on the ball. Be so you want to get it back as quickly as possible and be exactly. able to do that. What I will say to you, there's a two tests that you've got to do when you're looking at the Sundown squad. Okay. One of the players that, and I think he's going under the radar, you've got to look at Sailor Mutau. Mm. Sailor is quality because that Sailor test, it's 
he is one of the players that, based on the form now, he's literally saying to Hugo Bruce, I am going to the AFCON and I'm your starter. And there's a change happening with Maseko, and I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. Because when you look at the team where he played under Gavin Hunt, Gavin Hunt plays a distinctive football. Before you continue, let me just give people the, 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 the number Z. Uh, you're talking about Mudao. Yes. Mudao had made key tackles and won both of, uh, all three of them, mm -hmm. 100%. What I like about is his pass completion. He mm -hmm. amazing, 93%. 62 passes out of 67 went to where he wanted them to go. He's not very good in long passes. He got 50% there. He had 85 touches from his position playing in the right-hand side. That, for me, tells me that it is, he is a player who goes with an instruction to do specific things, and he does it well. So let's let's look at which part of the pitch he's going to be playing in. Okay. So he'll be playing just before you get to the halfway line from a defensive perspective yes. when Sundowns goes forward. Yeah. But he may also be able to go forward and be able to assist in going forward. But when he has to now do the job in tackles, which is what your primary job that's as a that's defender that's is, the job, yeah. you've got to be able to show up and be able to defend because you've got to prevent crosses from going in. You've got to prevent the opposition to be using you as a channel of saying, we can be able to penetrate your wall through that. You know, if anything else, look for another place that you can be able to get through the Sundowns defense. That's not the side to, to go by. To, to give you a point in why his position is very critical, the player that is playing next to him is Marcelo Allende, mm. right? Yes. So because he knows Allende will go forward, he knows Allende will go inside, mm. He has to win all the tackles here yeah. because there is a space not to come there. Yes. So people often, when they judge players, they don't judge them based on mm. their teammates' work. They only look at you and they forget and, 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 what other work you have. And that's, that, that's a complementary side of sundowns of where they are. Yeah. The players have become so much away. People were saying, why is Tebu Khomu going to play of the season? Look at the work that he does that covers up people. Forget people are asking <laughs> questions but did not play. So when we look at the game, is sundown defense, all of them get above seven points. Kekana, Nkwena, and Kotze. Mm. I'm not even talking about William because he did not have really much to do because you know, you know, you haven't even so mentioned so Botwell there because he was so no, deep. But no, <laughs> no, no, no. When you look at the numbers here, let me tell you the best Mamelodi Sundown players based on numbers. Mm. It is Butwell, Modiba. Kekana, Nkwena, Kotze, and William. That tells you those are the players that they stop everything. The best player, the man of the match, is a goal scorer, Maseko, from where he was. Mm. He's supposed to be playing far left, right. yes. wide, but you saw him where he collected the ball for him to score the yeah. goal. The return again, we know El Ali guarantee in South Africa since they played Mamelodi Sundown the 11th in 2001. Mm. They drew that game here. Mm. They are not good travelers. Yes. But at home, they look to be solid to reverse the situation. How are you seeing this based on your just, just stand down? Uh, we need to be very clear. Yeah. They are very solid at home against other opposition. Okay. This is the very same team when when Simba went there, Simba managed to get a draw. Yes. So here are the things that need to happen. If Alakli wins by 1-0, it's not an outright win. So they need to score two goals. Yeah. When was the last time they scored two goals against Sundowns? Mm. It was in that 5-2 that they lost. Mm. When Sundowns was there the last time, there's certain names that people in Cairo may not like to hear. Names like Tapelo Morena. Tapelo Morena scored there and Sundowns won. Sundowns is one of those few teams that knows what it's like to go to Cairo and, get and come back with a result. So it's going to be whereby, and the way that Sundowns is playing, home or away. Will you, will you say to your Sundown team, if you are... Uh, Olan, will you set the Sundown team that goes there not to lose? Or you you set up a Sundown team that goes there to win? From what I've seen, based on what I've seen in the technical team led by Coach Rulani, I'd say they're setting up to win. And they were setting up to play football. Yes, game, and that's the one thing that I think the technical team has matured in. They're able to read the game, and based on the game, they will play accordingly. If you look at what against Pedro, they had a red card against them. They were still able to play defensively and still be able to come through with a favorable result. I would like to thank Paul for coming and giving us a preview of this game. It is a massive game. Like I said, we are beers because we are supporting Mamelodi Sundown. Who would you like to see play in the final? Mamelodi Sundown versus Esperance or why that? Look, I've got nothing against Esperance. <laughs> you know, beautiful team. There's unfinished business with Wade that I know it's a different competition. 
I know the AFL is a different when, corporate, when you but the rivalry. In the field, it is. A you see, you see, and 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 the one but thing. Why don't they have not lost a game? And that, please. Who knocked Sundowns out in the semi-final please. of the Champions League? Uh, uh, personally, as a South African, <laughs> I would like to see my beloved Sundowns play Esperance, and I know that game. I'll already take my beloved Sundowns. I don't know if it's it. They're gonna give. If you win this, you won't get a star. No. I think if you win this, you're gonna get a moon. <laughs> no, but, but, <laughs> no, but 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 for me, and and this is the thing, and I say as South Africans, yeah. as Sundown supporter, yeah. enjoy that uh, African continental giant. Jeff. I see you as a rival, yeah. and you get to have them and host Who them. Who do you want to fight on? I want to wait that the Azan finished business there. Okay. I've heard this many times. <laughs> People will say, I want pirating. The final. <laughs> and, they <laughs> and they lose. So thank you very much for watching this. This is the Foot Effect channel. And I am with Mposa. Listen, every week, I will be with Mposa. We'll be only talking football because we love it so much. You can join Mposa. This is. Is a X, do you say X account or Twitter account? We, we, uh, Twitter X, <laughs> whichever one works. This is his account. It is imposed at nine to nine. He has so many spaces. Go and listen to the conversation, <laughs> the passion. Until next time, I am Christophe Bunga. I'll say au revoir.